Hi guys, so I have launched Vajra WP and uh, it's been some time and I also published recently this uh, landing page and which will post the documentation as well as a generator to just simply download a plugin um, with a renamed version so like Vajra WP but then you want to generate so it says when you click on download you will have the form where you can set the names, uh, slug an author name and email. It's very simple. There's nothing much going on. It just renames uh, a few constants and uh, uh, namespaces and function prefixes so that the plugin works with the new name. Right. So um, the email is optional and the author name is optional. Even the slug is optional. Um, and the email is not used uh, uh, in the plugin, but uh, for just uh, capturing uh, leads so that I can contact you guys later uh, with uh, maybe an email um, regarding uh, plugin updates, etc. or anything that is security related um, if there is uh, something that comes in the future. All right, so there's that. Let's test something. Let's just call on to... Um, some WP, let's just call it that, and then we'll just hit generate. And uh, if you were to wait a second, you can see it just downloaded it. Some WP dot zip. Now, the process for installing it, you can find in the documentation when you click on documentation. Uh, the getting started page uh, is uh, well documented. So, uh, the first things first that you will need to make sure is the requirements that are met, uh, whatever app you are using or um, you know the local development setup you have just make sure these are there and uh, you also need to make sure that the security plugins you are using are not uh, disabling rest api by default because uh, this uh, budget developer uses rest api for the settings pages etc and the app and the installation after this is very straightforward you just run these uh, commands and uh, that will set you up um, so installation is just as easy as this and uh, once um, after building uh, running this basically you can simply hit the install plugin and um, that should work the there are two separate uh, components that you will need to uh, run separately because you know either if you're working on the dashboard you will need to run uh, these one of these commands uh, either to build or to run the development uh, settings and uh, uh, the blocks development. So if you are um, building blocks, uh, you either need to run one of these. All right, so there's that. Uh, other documentation pages are still in progress and I haven't yet added any of other documentation pages because there's a lot of going, there's a lot of things that are going on in my life right now and I'm trying to focus um, in this as well and as well as some indie hacking projects I've been working on. So um, I hope to replace this video as well with a more uh, introductory video because this is way too long if you'd ask me. So this opens up a pop-up and runs that uh, video um, from my channel, the recent uh, uh, video for the Vajra WB itself. That's 32 minutes long and I don't think uh, um anyone who interacts or um you know counters this uh plugin first time it they won't be uh, happy watching a 32 minute video for just this right so hopefully one soon and uh currently the version number is uh, v0.3.0 beta and uh this counter is live so i really like this one uh, i just updates live whether if someone else is downloading on, um, you know, anywhere else, it will update real time. So this is pretty cool. Um, right. So there's that. And uh, you can also follow um, my uh, Twitter account that is small town dev co. And, uh, you know, for updates about this, etc. and everything. So that would be pretty handy. And uh, please do subscribe because that really helps me uh, in uh, reaching a lot more users like you and uh, giving them this awesome tool that I am building. And, uh, you know, just that also makes me feel better that it is being used uh, via a few people at least. Right, so 
hope that it helps and uh, i will see you in another another video uh, with more uh, widget developer tutorials where we will be taking a look at how you can use it to basically generate a plugin via download and then make a real um, real world plugin basically uh, so as you would see in any other plugin on the wordpress.org repository um, like that so hopefully that makes sense and i will see you in the next video thank you